We learned about Pearl Harbor being attacked when we came back from church and my mother was fixing dinner. She was listening to the radio and she said, hey, you know, there's something terrible happening. So we all listened to the radio all the rest of the afternoon. And I had been in uh, ROTC at UCLA. And so uh, my natural reaction after Pearl Harbor was, what am I going to do? We were brought into the service at Fort MacArthur in San Pedro. And they didn't have shoes big enough for my size 13 feet. So I went into basic training and went about halfway through basic training wearing <laughs> college saddle shoes. Uh, and uh, I was then sent overseas and was sent as a replacement officer uh, in the 1st Cavalry Division. And they were involved in the Philippine campaign at that time. We were attacked one night. We had a beachhead on southern Luzon and uh, we were managing the beach as the engineers, the loading and, and so on. And uh, uh, we were attacked one night by Japanese mortars. Some of us got sh little shrapnel wounds and things like that. I think one of the saddest stories where I had very good friends, uh, I was assigned to this 1st Cavalry Division, 8th Engineer Squadron, and we were in occupation duty for a year in Japan. And uh, the, some of the young officers that had become replacement officers in the cavalry uh, were also UCLA graduates. So there were three or four of us that were rooming together when our officers' quarters burned down in Japan. And two of those uh, men were burned when they went down the hall. I jumped out the window and landed in a pine tree and got pretty well scratched up, but all right. Two of my closest friends were burned to death in that fire. When I came back finally to the States, I met with her families and, and uh, saw them. And you know, they were hard losses, hard friends to lose. Yeah, I have an interesting story about the, the European wars ending. I went on these expeditions with these hucks to find out engineer materiel. Well, you can't protect yourself from mosquitoes very well that way. So a week or so later, I came down with a terrible case of malaria. And I was in the field hospital then, and in a, practically a coma. Uh, and uh, several days later, when I came out of it, the people asked me, did you hear about the war ending in Europe? I said, no, I didn't know a thing about it. I was out. <laughs>